What's up, y'all? It's the Network Bro, and today's topic is going to be about SDM templates. And uh, this was a topic that I was kind of studying when I was uh, taking the CCMP switch exam. And while um, while studying for this topic, that's what kind of led me to start this channel, the Network Bro. I was going to actually call it the CCNA Bro. But I didn't want Cisco to come up my ass. So anyway, uh, so we're going to first talk about what SDM templates are. Then I'm going to show you all how to configure a SDM template on a 3750 switch live. And uh, then I'm going to show you all how to kind of like display the templates that you have set up on your switch. So SDM stands for switch database management sdm template is basically a way that you could kind of manage the resources on your switch but before i get into as you can see i got secure crt set up in the background that's the switch live Let me show y'all real quick show version so yeah this is a 3750 switch i just powered it on not too long ago kind of set up this video uh but before i get into the configuration of an sdm template I wanted to kind of give you guys like an analogy of an easier way to uh, think about what an SDM template is. So when I thought about S what SDM templates are, think about, you know, if you ever play video games, you know, NBA, uh, NBA 2K is what I usually think about. Uh, like the NBA 2K ratings, you know, how some of the players, as you can see in the background, I got Russell Westbrook sitting there. And you can see, you know, his his strengths and abilities, right? You got right here close range, his close range shots at 92, mid range 88, three pointers at 77, right? And all these numbers basically give you an overall number. It tells you what his overall rating is. And then uh, this is an old NBA 2K that I had, you know, image that I found back then. I don't, I don't even think they had overall ratings. They had offense and defense. So, but. I don't even play video games no more. That's just what I thought about when I think of uh, SDM templates, right? Here's another example. Ronnie Turioff, you know, his close range, mid-range, three-pointers, layups, dunks. And each of these numbers, right, when you kind of create a player, you can make him make his strengths, like his three-pointers, you know, better than he can do a layup or a dunk or whatever, you know. Um, but you only had a certain amount of numbers or a certain amount of points that you can allocate to each strength that player has right and i found this other one that, that i thought was kind of funny i was like i gotta show y'all this shit. <laughs> dwight howard free throw set at 63 joke telling minus a thousand children eight and self-awareness zero is another one right here uh, carmelo anthony dribbling looking at without looking at teammates 88 jacking up long twos 100 uh, pump faking 40 14 you can't really see the defense i'll show y'all right now actually defense set of error because that brother though is not playing any defense anyways so that's what i think about when i think of sdm templates right so just think about the nba 2k ratings when you think of setting uh uh sdm templates right so let's first see what this 3750 switch is set at with. show sdm prefer and that shows you what the current template is set at right and right now it's set at desktop default right so with this, it kind of gives your, it's kind of, it's the default setting for a 3750 switch is desktop default. Everything is set to a balance, like a, all your resources are, are balanced, are allocated evenly, right? So unicast MAC addresses, 6, 6K, you got number of unicast routes, everything is set to balance. So think about like the average NBA player, you know, he's not the best three-point shooter he's not the best dunker but he's average he's good enough to make the league basically so everything is set at default right now you can configure your sdm templates to be like say he's the best three points you like steph curry but he can't really dribble that well because so you're gonna have to get rid of some of your other resources right let's show you what you can set it up to. actually you got to go to configuration mode to make those changes right so configure terminal sdm prefer and go to question mark show you that options right here you can set it to be access bias right that basically means you can set up your 3750 switch to be mostly 
or access control lists is basically what it's for. So if you want it al allocated to be able to handle a lot of ACLs, you're going to set it to access bias. I used to think it was to set it up as a access switch, but no, that's not the case. Default, this is what we went over before. You know, all your resources are set to be balanced, right? So like the NBA player, he's, he's an average dunker, he's an average three-point shooter, and he's an average, you know, guy to make layups or whatever the case may be. You can set it up to be mostly to be able to handle dual IPv4 and IPv6, right? So if you set it up this way, it's going to support both IPv4 and IPv6. All your resources are going to be let, uh, re, um, allocated to, to handle IPv4 policy-based routing aces, uh, QoS. I'd have to set it up to show you and kind of go over all of that, too. You can also set it up to uh, be biased for routing. So what that'll do is basically turn off all. Uh, it's going to maximize routing on the switch, basically. And lastly, if you set it up to be uh, SDA and VLAN, it's going to maximize your VLAN configurations on the switch, but with no routing supported on the hardware. So if you do that, it's going to, you know, you could have a, I think it's like 1,000 VLANs or something like that, 4,000 VLANs. I don't know. If you set it to be SDM desktop default, you can see right here, eight routed interfaces and, and a maximum of a 1024 VLANs. If you set it up to be SDM prefer VLAN, then it's going to be like, oh, I think it's like 4,000 VLANs or something like that. But it's not going to do any routing for you. So that's what that's, that setting is going to be. You could also kind of set it to... If let's say you change it to one and uh, let's say let's. OK, so right now we got it set up to SDM desktop default. Right. Let's go ahead and change it to support mostly VLANs and it's going to turn off all routing on this layer three switch. Right. So we're going to do SDM prefer VLAN. Right. You do that. Press enter. It's, it's set up to uh, maximize your resources to be mostly handle VLANs, but it's not going to, as you can see, it's, it's going to give you this warning. So say it's not going to take effect until the next reload. So basically after you do this, you've got to reload the switch and then all the resources are going to be maximized for VLANs, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, if you do show SDM prefer, let's get out of this. Show SDM prefer, SDM, SDM prefer, and it's going to show you Right now, it's set up to be desktop default. That's the current template, right? But on the next reload, as you can see, template will be desktop VLAN on the next reload, right? So let's go ahead and reload, and it's going to take a minute, and I'll show y'all. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And we're back. So... The switch just finished reloading, and I just got a syslog message, something about specific preforce prefixes that could not be programmed in the TCAM. Uh, I didn't want to get into all of that. Basically, we just going over SDM templates. So right now, let's go ahead and see where it's set up at, right? We're going to go to enable mode, show SDM prefer, and that is how you see where what everything is set up to be, right? So right now, as you can see, it says the current template is desktop VLAN template. That's what we just set up our SDM template to be. Remember where everything was balanced, you had sixes. and uh, This is kind of like our NBA 2K ratings, right? We had a bunch of sixes. We had, I think, a four somewhere in there. Right now, everything is allocated for, uh, for VLANs and handling multiple MAC addresses. So now everything is set up to be Look, we got 12K, I guess that's 12,000 number of unicast MAC addresses that we could throw in the cache of the, or the, in the TCAM for this switch here, right? No unicast routes. So this, even though this is a layer three switch, it's not going to do any routing because we have this set up to be desktop VLAN template. So this is mostly what you want to set up for your for your access switches and stuff like that. Maybe some maybe some of your some of your distribution switches because that's where your VLAN is going to go. But you don't want to set this up. You know, this is obviously not going to do no routing because see, look, it's not going to hold any routes on here. So if you have if you realize that you you know you can't do any routing, and even though this is a layer three switch, you know, 
That's one of the commands you could type in to see where it's set up at. Show SDM prefer. And again, I'll go ahead and show y'all what you can set it up to be again. Configure terminal. SDM prefer is and then and then whatever the command is, but I'll do question mark to show you the uh, the options you have here, right? You have access, so you can set it up to be uh, to handle mostly access control lists. You also have default, which gives balance to all your functions. And then you have dual IPv6 and IPv4. That allows you to select the template that supports both IPv4 and IPv6 routing. You have a uh, routing, which is unicast bias. It's, it's, that way you do that so it can maximize the resources for routing on the switch. And then what we also have it set up to be right now, which is desktop VLAN, uh, VLAN. So you're going to do SDN preferred VLAN, and that's going to allow you to maximize VLAN configuration on the switch with no routing supported in the hardware. So uh, that's mostly it. I think that's all we're going to cover right now. We went over configuring templates, uh, how to display the templates to see where it's set up to be. You could also do this to kind of when you have this set up in a, in a stack, but I only have one thirty seven fifty switch, so I can't really show y'all how that work. But uh, yeah, there's all kind of stuff you can do with uh, SDM uh, SDM templates. Uh, that's mostly it. Uh, if y'all like this, if, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. Uh, comment at the bottom. Let me know what I could do to kind of improve. This is my first YouTube video for this channel, and subscribe to my channel, The Network Bro. Peace.